everybody, this is Jenjift here and we're back. So, the new Forgotten Beast has arrived. A Diamantrodon. Towering, skinless, eight-legged Diamantrodon. Bloated body, beware of its fire. So it's basically fire breathing. And this is what that is. Except with eight legs instead of just four. So yeah, it is here. Sorry about the lack of a video on Wednesday. It has been a bit crazy this past couple weeks. But yeah, so here we are. We've got this forgotten beast that has just arrived. We have some new migrants that came in. We have a scholar guest that's just standing up there. And the hill titan is still here. So... We're having fun. The Hill Titan hasn't moved in months. It's been like two seasons and that guy's just been standing there. This guy... Where the f Oh, he's right there. Boy, he's close to the fort. The cat chooses to jump onto my desk precisely when I start recording. No, you're not sitting there. You're blocking my view. I think she enjoys that. Yeah, it's been very slow. We've been at 15 frames a second for a while now. And now I've got to watch two Titans or Forgotten Beasts or whatever. Because that one is just stuck there. What I'm hoping is because the caravan generally comes up from here and then walks down, I'm hoping the caravan guard noticed that guy kill him because bloody hell our visitor here the sword dwarf is certainly not doing anything in fact he's done so little he's rusty uh, but now I'm more worried about this guy moving because he's currently down there but forgotten beasts are generally more reliable at moving so We'll jump cut until something happens, either a caravan showing up or one of these two moving, or everybody in the fort dying. So, jump cut. Oh, we're back. So, what's happened? Well, a dude got a mood. A woodcrafter. So, this is going to be a bit boring, isn't it? Where is my... there it is. Dwarf therapist. You really, yeah, you're just gonna be a woodcrafter. This is probably one of the migrants that came in. I do like how it popped up partly on the other screen. There we go. There we go. Come on, welcome in game. Oh, come on in. Alrighty. Who's got the mood? Current job. You. You have a wood crafting of two. You're probably one of these new people. So are you going to grab the workshop outside or you're going to go into the basement? Neither the Titan nor the Forgotten Beast have actually moved yet. They're both just kind of standing around. Here comes Willow to jump back up on top of the desk now that I'm talking. Is that right, Willow? Yes? Yeah? I'm talking, so you gotta jump up on the desk now, don't you? Ah, little kitty. So, he's claimed the workshop. He needs bars. Rocks. More metal bars. Tanned hides. Cut gems, logs, tanned hides, metal bars. He wants many metal bars. So, what will be your base? Oh, he went. Oh, and here's that caravan. Oh, goody, goody, goody. The human caravan has arrived. Oh, really, cat? 
Me talking for recording was not an invitation for you to jump up onto the desk. Go away. Not like, go, go away. Just, no, don't, don't do that. So. Still running off. Looks like he's going to grab some wood first. Yep, he's got his wood. So the base is going to be fungi wood. We're going to take a quick look to see the invited guest down there. He is still there. I'm going to take a few quick looks, a little watch, to see what happens with that guy. Because the human caravan has arrived. Will the human caravan kill him for me? That would be kind of nice. We do need to get people out so I can cut down all these trees because the forest is getting to be quite thick again. And it appears I'm going to have to build a road north. Is the caravan guard going to see this guy and start taking pot shots at him? It would be kind of nice. There's enough of them. Crossbowmen, axemen, hammermen, bowmen. So we got a few caravan guards. That's not what I wanted to look at. Oh, we're now on two pages because of that. And this guy is still hiding down here. Right at the edge of the map. Hey, I see you. You're trying to be sneakies. She looks at me and then looks at the desk again and looks at me and looks at the desk again. What are you doing? What are you doing, kitty? Hmm? I don't want you on the desk. I'll pet you down there, but I don't want you on the desk. So, let's see. The caravan is walking right next to this guy. Oh, it spots him. It is fired at the horse. It, it's attacking. Oh, there goes the horse. Okay, the caravan guards are going after him. Horse has been knocked unconscious. Well, maybe this thing is like just wasn't scary. Oh nope, the human's dead. <laughs> Ooh, it nailed the freaking cart. Caravan guard is on it now. Fracturing it, fracturing it. It's not doing much. Okay, so the caravan guy is dead. Yeah, I'm kind of glad I didn't fight that. Axeman misses, Hammerman bashes it, fracturing it, fracturing it, fracturing it. The thing is, it's freaking stone of some sort. It's that gem thing. is composed of coral, which is basically a rock, which means it doesn't bleed. So you can't just stab it to death with spears. Which is really unfortunate. <sighs> He did manage to hit the, um, human. Yep, kicked him in the right, left lower arm. So it's just the two caravan guards. Are they armored? Probably not. Inventory. 
cop you got a copper shield. I see oh well, there's a copper helm. Not really any bronze low boot, bronze low boot. Bronze mall, copper shield. Bronze left gauntlet, bronze left right gauntlet. Wounds. It's been hit pretty hard. But it won't bleed to death, so. Now let's double check to make sure the Forgotten Beast isn't moving. Nope, he's still there. Hill Titan is still fighting, and it's just fracture, 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 fracture. Ooh, that's not going to be very good for the uh, human axeman there. It's just fracturing it. gun. It just doesn't like left lower arms. This thing also won't get tired. Fracturing, fracturing, chipping it, chipping it, fracturing. Well, chipping it is a little bit more than fracturing it. the humans. Oh, one of the uh, traders has decided to also make an attempt. This doesn't look like it's good for someone. The thing is, it can't get tired. It doesn't suffer from exhaustion. So the human's unconscious. That one is, at least. And now he's dead. Oh boy, they're both dead now. Right upper arm. Kicks him in the head with the left rear foot. Injured part explodes into gore. So, hmm. Oh, it's kicked the other human axeman in the head now, too. So there's two dead humans. <laughs> dead humans on my map now. Why? What are you? A human lasher. Huh. So you kick it in the head. Chipping it. <laughs> Lashes it in the front leg with the whip. Chipping it, chipping it, chipping it, chipping it. Uh, Fracturing it. Freaking fighting these things. When they're just made of inanimate materials like coral and stuff. At least it's not made of steel. If it was made of steel, I'd just close up the front gate and go, fuck it. <laughs> we don't have anything that will work against that. Look how far it fires, though. 
Ooh. Ooh. Did the human lasher do something? Oh, finally. The engine... One of the parts have finally collapsed from the strain. It's all you can do is just keep beating it until... Finally, just from accumulated damage of being hit... Things break. Oh, there's a lot of stuff there. Yep, there's a right front foot. Right front foot is gone. Ooh, another part has fallen off. And that's all you do, is you just slowly start doing that and dismantling things. So, left front foot, right front foot is gone. So it's lost its quad... It's <laughs> gonna have a hard time moving around now. And it is finally dead. In the head, injured part is crushed. And now the humans will leave. And I've got a bunch of free stuff I can't do anything with. Wow. Are they bringing my stuff back to me? No, can't be. Maybe they are. <laughs> that would be interesting. So, I guess that's all the humans, really. Eh. And then what we got down in the caves is that one forgotten beast, which we still need to keep an eye out for. <sighs> Of course. So you know what? We're going to do this the easy way. Because there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done in the way of things that need to be built. If that thing wants to stand there, I can happily oblige it. We need to get wood. We need to clear that area. And now that the guy outside is dead, all the better. Someone pulled a stinking lever. Come on. Come on. Pull the lever. There we go. I could also just station all the uh, crossbow dwarves at the doorway. Which would probably work too, but... Military alerts, go. Get to work, people. High CPU usage for a split second as, as all these guys go, Oh, we can do shit now. Yes, you can. Go. Go forth and do shit. That is the end of the episode for now. I'm going to end this episode and we'll see everybody later. See ya. I ended prematurely. I forgot about the guy making his little artifact down here. He has started. So let's see what he makes. And... Jump cut. Alrighty, so... It's a fungi wood crown. Claimed as an heirloom in the, in the name of the family ancestor Asbob the Single Fence. A name we don't quite see as often as some of the other ones. Ooh, 57,600. Highest quality, decorate giant ohm leather and leather encircled bands of fungi wood, bronze, and billion. This object has spikes of fungi wood. On the item is an image of two smooth pebbles in bronze. On the item is an image of a tear nail lenses, the dwarf, and basalt. A tear nail lenses is making a point of gesture. The artwork relates to the drowning of the dwarf 
Altair nail lenses in the Hill of Persuasion in late summer of 138. On the item is an image of Logan sealing seizure, the dwarf in giant ulm leather, and then, then, and then an image of turkeys in yellow zircon. Not too bad. It's just a freaking little thing, but hey, it's there. Hooray! So, see you next time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll be back with more. Thank you all for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to hit that stupid little bell thing that YouTube has added, because otherwise you won't get notifications of any new videos if you su subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter, at GenJeft, as I always have my video updates on there, so you will never miss a video if you're on my Twitter feed, because it'll all be posted. And any other dumbass comment I make as well. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.